Hi, I'm Scott, and today we just finished this big wheel from the Showcase Showdown on The Price is Right, and we're going to show you how we did it. So come on down! Hey, this is my partner Mike from the Instagram channel Woodwork and Weld. And we participated in the Maker Collab 2023, and the theme was TV shows. And we competed against 34 other teams. So Mike and I thought, let's go big or go home. And what we wanted was a project that when you saw it, you knew exactly what television show this represented. Everybody for the last 50 years has grown up watching this wheel being turned every morning on television. So the structure is a skeleton of OSB. And then these are quarter inch MDF plates that are just glued and brad nailed onto the face. And then the numbers are glued onto them. There were 26 pieces cut out in total on the CNC. Four of the portions of the circle, and then two spines that hold the middle together, or the two halves. And then there was 20 end pieces that, that support these, the faces. So all those were glued together kind of like mortise and tenons or, or slots in the subfloor pieces. The hardest part of this project was maneuvering everything. And so each one of these pieces, like the top half of this, for example, it, it takes four, four people to, to move it into place. And so as I was working on my parts, uh, building it, I was alone in the shop. And so taking this from the CNC over, you know, to test it out and, and put some of the pieces together to make sure they fit was just a huge challenge. So the foam numbers are glued onto each. So this is a foam number glued onto a foam backer, and then this is glued onto this face. These are adhesive uh, vinyl labels that are just stuck to the side. The numbers were really a challenge right off the bat because this isn't a standard font. It's actually a Price is Right font that I had to search out on the internet for. Once I was able to locate that font, I was able to import it into Lightburn to use with my laser where I could cut out these foam letters and then into my Cricut where I could cut out the vinyl letters. Once I got that font down and was able to do that, easy day. logistics of this project were really tough because this thing is huge. It is over eight feet tall and it weighs over a thousand pounds. Um, we're able to break it down into four different sections so it can be moved, but it is too tall to move in and out of the garage. And this is actually probably going to live out in the driveway here for a couple of weeks. So the frame was basically a, a, a cruciform, you know, with two pieces that cross here. And then there's uh, two uh, knee braces on each side to give it lateral strength and then so the thing doesn't tilt forward. And then I used riv nuts in the, in the bottom for the casters to attach the casters to. And you can't really see it, but there is a platform that uh, a block sits on with a, a three foot, three quarter inch shaft and which goes through two pillow blocks to give it, to allow it to spin basically a, a bearing with two bolts in a flange on it.
Price is Right just because it would be a, a great challenge for the CNC. For me, I hadn't done anything that big before. I was really excited about the concept of doing the spinning mechanism and just seeing if we could get that to work. And so that was a lot of fun. But the CNC was the perfect tool for the job. Well, there you go, we're done with this project. It's a lot of fun and we can't wait to take it to any family function, block party, or whatever else we have in store for it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to Mike from Woodworking Well for helping me out. And thanks for watching. Dad it yourself. <laughs>